Let's start by saying we're all a little different, but I'll cover that detail. Your conscious mind doesn't recognize this, but your brain is hardwired to eat and store fat because eons later, we still haven't evolved out of caveman brains. I know this stuff. I lecture on it worldwide for over 20 years, and it is surprising. In fact, it's surprising that any of us are thin at all. I know a bariatric surgeon that says it's probably more effective to operate on the patient's brain than to staple their stomach. But don't worry about this. I've got your answers. Let's begin to narrow this down. We struggle with several issues. First, are you obese? And even if you're not obese, maybe you're only 10 pounds overweight, you may still be insulin resistant. Some thin people are skinny fatties and they are unhealthy and challenged to lose weight. Tofies are thin outside and fat inside. A mess of visceral fat. If this is your problem, either way, thin or obese, you can reliably lose weight the same way. It comes down to what you eat and how and when you eat it. If you don't know if you're insulin resistant, just know that I have it boiled down to a plan that will allow you to lose eight to 15 pounds in 30 days, whether you are or not. You can get that plan free at drc.com. No credit card, no obligation, no hunger and no measuring. To make it easy, you can still eat in restaurants as well. To make things worse, we've developed brains that tell us, I don't want to move my body right now. If this is the case, take that as a sign to get moving. Go for a walk. Play a physical game or just stretch and increase your flexibility. If you resist movement or exercise, you are creating a greater challenge for the future. I can promise you that over 40, your hormones are messing you up. Most women don't have more than a trace of estrogen and testosterone. No oomph, no sex drive, wrinkling skin, and a lousy mood. Sorry, it happens and the best way to fix it is bioidentical hormones. Hormones tend to mess everybody up by a certain age. And today I was reading a case where a pregnant woman actually lost weight during her pregnancy due to hormones, bioidentical hormones. Bioidentical hormones are plant-based hormones. I do it myself because at 57 years old, I need the help and it will change your life. Your brain may also be telling you, oh, have a glass of wine, be nice to yourself, slow down probably not the best idea. Get a massage, do a yoga class, but cosmos and wine will exacerbate your problem. Enough said. Another brain issue, most of us don't really know what a truly healthy diet is or what a healthy lifestyle is. Start by eating better. You'll get this on drc.com. The other side of this coin is to start walking briskly. Walk a mile a day minimum. You'll decrease your chances of dementia by 50% and take a walk after dinner rather than plopping down in front of the TV. My friends at the Television Academy would be yelling at me right now because they want you to watch their shows. But honestly, go for a walk. And if you wanna do double duty, take your dog for a walk. They always wanna go for a walk and they're so wonderful. And they are a four-legged exercise machine and a stress reducer. And I know they like to stop for pee mails. Don't let them stop all the time. You have to train them that you're the boss and you just keep those dogs walking and you'll get great exercise and so will your best friend. Remember, if you don't know what and how to eat, you're not stupid, but at this point, if you don't want to know, and if you aren't ready to find out, you are your own worst enemy. Let's think about this. Are you worth it? I think you are. How badly do you want it? Eventually, your life depends on it. Now is preferred. Are you ready to do something new in order to get results that you've never had before? At this point, it will feel like biting the bullet, but in a few days, you're going to feel a lot better, less pain in your joints, less hunger, and less anxiety. 
Are you ready? You might be wondering if you're insulin resistant. An insulin resistant person's cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin, responsible for transporting glucose from the bloodstream into cells to be used for energy. In overweight individuals, excess fat tissue can release inflammatory substances that interfere with insulin signaling, leading to reduced glucose uptake by cells. This means faster aging and precursors to diseases that will threaten your life. Can you see that all of this adds up to a vicious cycle and one detrimental thing leads to another? But if you take one detrimental thing out, you will break the cycle. It gets easier. You can choose to evolve. You don't have to live like a caveman. I'm also going to talk about emotional eating and addiction. But tell me, what do you want to hear about? Just go to the comments section and tell me what you want to know. Remember, I promised that. So please share this with a friend. And remember what I always say, suffering is optional and life is what you make it.